Sam Levitt here inside the Padres clubhouse as we get ready for today's game between the Padres and the Kansas City Royals coming up at 110 on the Padres radio network. Right now I'm joined by Padres starting pitcher Joe Musgrove. And first, Joe, I owe you a, a thank you because I had never heard of the band Pepper before you put it on your Instagram story. I think it was at the end of spring training. You were coming back to San Diego. You put a song on there named Back Home. I listened to it, and now I'm driving around San Diego listening to Pepper. You still uh, jamming yeah. out to some Pepper? Yeah, dude. I think I was uh, a little in my feelings, a little bit of uh, excitement for the season coming up, and we're driving out of Arizona in that you know initial hour. There's always so much excitement, and then you hit the middle stretch, and it's a little bit of a drag, but... Um, yeah, I was looking through songs, oddly enough, like home home feeling songs, groups that I like. So I went through a little reggae kick there, and Pepper was one of the first groups I put on. Um, I met those. I've been listening to those guys for years now, but I met some of the guys in the band a handful of years ago. And um, Yisad Williams, their drummer, has been one of my close buddies now over the last couple of years, and we've helped each other a lot. And you know, sending some tickets or some baseball memorabilia, send over for him to auction off for his type of charities and the work that he does. And then he'll send over records and sign drumsticks for me to auction off. So I'm kind of introducing the baseball world to Pepper and he's introducing the reggae world to baseball. So we're kind of helping each other out. That's awesome. How cool is it for you, uh, not just to be involved with baseball, but things like that too, where you can get involved with other uh, arts and, and things just uh, in the culture? Yeah, that's one of the coolest perks about you know being a professional ball player, aside from you know a lot of the other luxuries, is just the connections you get to make and the people you have access to meet. And, um, especially in San Diego, we get tons of really cool celebrities, artists, musicians, um, you know, coming through here for first pitches and whatnot, or just coming out to watch a game. So I always try to make it a point to get out there and at least say hello and introduce myself and hopefully, you know, be able to build a relationship with some of these people. But yeah, that's one of the coolest parts. I'm sure there are a lot of people that want to know what else is on the Joe Musgrove playlist right now. Uh, I always have a lot of tribal seeds in there. Those guys are mixed in. Um, I've been back on a reggae kick lately, listening to a lot of soul, a lot of soja, a lot of uh, steel pulse. Um, you know, and tribal seeds. Those are kind of my three go-tos right now. But I mix it up. I've been listening to a little bit of some of Jack Harlow's new stuff. Um, a little bit of house music kind of all over the place right now. But, yeah, I've been back in a little reggae kick lately. And there's something about that band Pepper, and I'm not from California, not from San Diego. There's something about it driving around Southern California that just feels right uh, with that band Pepper. Yeah, their vibe, man, the, the sound of their music. You can point them out anywhere. Uh, I think they all have really unique voices. Um, just a really, really good group, and they have a lot of different feels. You know, if you want a little more of like a rock reggae, they got that. They got a little bit more of the slower stuff. They got the island vibe you kind of reggae. So, um, you know, whatever kind of mood you're in, you can rely on one band to give you a bunch of different feels. So, All right, so from music to baseball, uh, obviously overall the start hasn't been what this team wanted. It's no secret you're one of the leaders of this clubhouse. How do you view this start to the early part of the year? Yeah, I think we've underperformed a little bit. We haven't met the expectations, um, you know, of ourselves, and I know we haven't met the expectation of fans. I completely understand the frustration. Um, you know, we're frustrated in here too, but you got to believe us when we say if we knew the answer, we would, you know, we would fix it. You know, um, you know, we are in a little bit of that search phase, trying to find out our um, our identity. We're having a hard time getting everything synced up and getting everybody gelling at the at the same time. Um, but I know this probably gets oversaid, but it is early in the year. Um, you know, we're fortunate to have this stuff happening now. This is not something that we see carrying through the whole year. You know, there's going to be a moment or a game or a play or one swing that's going to be able to turn this thing around for us. And, you know, over the last few weeks, we've hit some balls really hard with guys on base. We've had some, um, you know, some leadoff guys hitting the ball hard that hopefully kickstart an inning that tend happen to go right to somebody or they make a great play. Um, you know, so it feels like the few times we do barrel up balls, we're not getting any luck and, and seeing some of those balls fall. Um, but yeah, we're just having a hard time getting things gelling. But this is a group in here that's got a lot of confidence. We prepare as good as any group I've ever been a part of, including last year's team. Um, you know, so these struggles, I don't think are a part of, you know, a lack of effort or a lack in, in the hard work and preparation. The coaching staff is incredible at, at getting us the information we need. We just ultimately haven't gone out there and done the job. So um, when it comes down to it, it's, it's as simple as Bob said, you know, we got to play better. We got to just do better. You use the term synced up there, and it's uh, similar to what Bob Melvin said after the game yesterday, saying that, uh, you know, using that term in sync. What is a key to that for this team, I guess, collectively getting in sync? Yeah, I think confidence in one another. Um, you know, nobody, uh, we don't have very many guys here that are consistently going out and, and doing, you know, well, Soto's obviously turned his thing around. He's been our hottest bat lately, but, 
I think when you have a few guys in the lineup that are consistently putting out you know, numbers and giving us production, um, whether it's on the pitching side or the offensive side, that allows everybody else to play a little looser. You got the confidence of knowing that these guys, you know, can be the producers here. We got to get on base, we got to set them up, or we got to get to a certain guy in the bullpen that we know is going to lock it down and slam the door. And we're just kind of losing that. We don't have that right now. So, um, you know, being able to get everybody going, get everybody at the same time, it's frustrating when you, you know, you're not hitting and you're pitching so well. And then as soon as the bats come around, you see the pitching start to fade. You know, we're trying to avoid that. We want to get everyone going at the same time here. So. It's just going to be continuing to show up, prepare, and, and just trust that one of these days things are going to start to turn for us and guys will start finding their place. You alluded to it. It is a long year. And last season, maybe a good example of that where you go to the postseason, you guys accomplish what you accomplished. Does last season what you guys did towards the end in the postseason, do you think that gives this team a little perspective of despite some of the early struggles, truly how long a year it is? Yeah, it is, you know. Um, you know, and confidence breeds confidence. It's hard to go out there and fake it and just, you know, show up. You got to you gotta somewhat see some results out there to build a little bit of that confidence and have something to build on. You know, it's hard to just create that out of thin air, especially when you're struggling. But, yeah, we know what this team's capable of. We know the types of players that we have in here, and we've seen what guys do when their back's up against the wall and we need to perform. So, you know, by no means does that mean we're sitting here waiting around till we're forced, our, our hand is forced to, to go out there and win games. You know, we're trying to win as many as we can here. But, um, you know, we know the type of personalities and, and the guys that we need in clutch moments and what we're capable of doing. So we're trying to get a little momentum here going into these summer months and, and hopefully hit our stride. Finally, Joe, uh, we're joined by Joe Musgrove right now on the Padres Radio Network. Finally, just your season personally, obviously in spring training, it starts with the kettlebell incident and then a little hiccup during the rehab process. But uh, the results have been good, too, since you've come back. How would you sum up your early part of the year? Yeah, um, yeah, I feel like I've been playing catch up a little bit. You know, I'm not getting the normal spring training ramp up to not only build up your intensity and build up your workload, but, you know, to prepare your pitches and get everything dialed in the way that you like to and, and have that time and the, the stress-free atmosphere of a spring training game to be able to go out and work on things and not concern yourself too much with results. Um, you know, by the time I came back from the, the broken toe, I was put right into spring training or into AAA games. Um, and being out there in those games, as much as you tell yourself to, to work on things, you just go compete. You know, you can't help it. Um, I get within an outing away, and then I jack up the shoulder on a play. Again, like a competitive thing, just going after a ball and jack that up and then follow that with the blistered feet. I feel like I've just been like one step forward, two steps back for the last, you know, two and two and a half, three months. So I feel like I'm starting to get to the point now where I'm finally feeling consistent. I was the first time I've gotten up, you know, 95-plus pitches in my last outing. So I feel like I'm starting to build a little momentum here. The quality hasn't been um, the sharpest for me. I've struggled with consistency in the breaking balls, but I've really been happy with the way the fastball and the changeup have played. And I've been a spin guy my you know my entire career, so I have no I have no you know doubt that that's not going to be there. It's going to show up for me. I just got to make a few adjustments to those things. But it seems to be you know a certain pitch like in LA, it's the three run homer. Um, you know New Mex Mexico, I just I can't tell you much about that place, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, the outing before the Christian Walker homer. It seems like I'm just I'm you know one or two pitches away from having really solid outings. I'm just not you know making those big pitches when I need to in certain moments. And I think that comes back to having confidence in the pitches. You know my breaking balls haven't felt that great. So when I'm throwing these pitches, it's more of a hesitation than it is a confidence. You know and being able to locate it and bury it to certain spots. So. Joe, appreciate the time as always. Great insight uh, on yourself and on this team as well. And again, thank you for the introduction to Pepper because that has been a big part of my car playlist as of late. As always, appreciate the time. Thanks so much. Absolutely appreciate it, Sam.